Hi there. Thank you very much for visiting the investigative dashboard. This is Paul Radu. About two weeks ago, um, I posted here a video tutorial on how to track down Panamanian companies by using the official registry of companies in uh, Panama. Now, uh, what, I'll, what I'm going to present uh, now is something that I found out in the meantime. is a better way to search for data on companies based in Panama. Daniel O'Huigin created an amazing tool. He scraped the database, uh, the, the official registry of companies of Panama. He pulled out the data from there and he reshaped it. He re-indexed it. Um, now, in order to find his tool, you can go to the Worldwide Company Data section of the Investigative Dashboard. Uh, you click in the Country section, you click Panama. And you'll see there are two options here. One option is the official registry of companies. And this is accompanied by a video tutorial that I posted, uh, as I mentioned, about two weeks ago. Or the other option is, the second choice, is uh, uh, Daniel's scraped Panama registry of companies, which is actually, uh, I repeat, a much better uh, research tool for investigative journalists and for any type of investigators. If you click on this, uh, on the link here, visit site. This is going to take you straight to Daniel's uh, uh, website, where you'll see you have two choices. You can search by the name of the person, which is a feature that is not present with the original database of Panamanian companies, and you can search by the name of the company. Uh, this is uh, a feature of the, of the official registry, but you'll see that this gives you actually much more options, Daniel's, uh, Daniel's search here. Um, I propose um, a very, very short, uh, brief uh, game. Uh, it's a game that uh, in investigative term, uh, terms we call fishing, going fishing. Um, what I'll be fishing for right now is uh, Romanians, Romanian citizens who have uh, companies in Panama, who are active in uh, companies based in Panama. Now, unfortunately, this, uh, the the Panama Registry of Companies doesn't offer you the, um, the option to look for nationality of a person when you research this, uh, uh, these names here, this company name, this person's names. But if I get just a little bit creative, I can think about the fact that, uh, you know, lots of Romanian names, they end in a very particular uh, string of letters. For instance, uh, one particular string of letters in the case of the Romanian names is Escu. E-S-C-U. I just have to input ESCU here and hit search person and uh, I'll get a very long list of names and all these names they contain this uh, string of uh, letters ESCU. Now if I go down on this list I I'll find lots of Spanish names uh, going like ESCUDERO but I'm looking for names that end in ESCU like this first name here Magda Panaitescu. Now, Magda Panaitescu is a Romanian name. Magda is a Romanian name, Panaitescu is a very, very Romanian name. Uh, I see an uh, Adrian Davidescu, again a Romanian name for sure. Uh, I see uh, Ana Cristina Triculescu, another Romanian citizen in this list. And I can go down. I propose you, you uh, do the same exercise with names uh, that are particular to your own country you'll see that you'll be able to identify lots of persons that uh, own companies in, uh, in Panama. Uh, now, in this list, I, uh, I identified uh, at some point um, a person uh, who was very well known to me uh, because uh, she's uh, always all over, all over the, the news. Uh, and that name uh, is uh, Juana Niculescu. You see, again, is this Escu uh, string of letters. Juana Niculescu Mizil, she's a Romanian MP, and I find uh, found out from this, uh, this list here that she, uh, uh, she's listed in a company in Panama called Redborn Corporation. Now, you click on the name in the list, and you get the company, and you see that she's a director of this company. You click on it, Redborn Corporation, and you see that uh, she's uh, a director together with uh, uh, one Niculescu Mizil, Nicolae, who, uh, who's probably a relative, and with a citizen called Giorgino Grandini, who's probably an Italian. Uh, if, uh, I mean, the name at least is Italian. Uh, now, this is important. It, it's important that I found this, uh, this data. But you must keep in mind 
that this here is scraped data. Now, scraped data is not always updated. So, what we need to do with this uh, information, uh, you copy the name of the company from here, and remember, I told you that uh, the official registry of companies offer you the, uh, the option to search if you, if you know the name of a company. So if you take Redbone Corporation from here and you go to the original, to the official registry of companies, you can search uh, for this corporation uh, and you'll find out this uh, record here. You'll find that Redbone Corporation is, is here. You'll find that uh, indeed the president of uh, the company is Juana Niculescu Mizil, the treasurer is uh, Niculescu Mizil Coma Nicolae, and the sec secretary of the company is one Giorgino Grandini. But you must be very careful. And this is why I say that sometimes scraped data is not updated. Um, you have to check very carefully this document. What you'll find out is uh, that this company was actually dissolved. So, tipo acta dissolution. And it was dissolved a long time ago. So, I can't say right now that Juana Niculescu Mizil uh, owns a company or represents a company from Panama because the company was dissolved. What I can say is that Juana Niculescu Mizil uh, the uh, Romanian MP used to own a company in Panama. So be very careful and always cross search and cross reference everything. Um, now, uh, another interesting feature offered by the um, by Daniel's uh, scraped uh, database is you can go from the name of Juan and Nicolescu Mizil. You'll see on the right hand side there's a Google uh, text here. If you Click on Google, you'll find, uh, you, you'll go straight to Google, of course, and you'll find here articles, press articles about Juana Nicolescu Mizil, her photos, and all this. For instance, there's a press article uh, that indicates that uh, Juana Nicolescu Mizil protested in the Romanian parliament, I think in September 2010. Uh, she was wearing an inmate uniform and uh, she protested against the uh, uh, Romanian president Traian Băsescu who was uh, to address the parliament at that date in September 2010. So you see there's, uh, there are various functionalities with this, uh, with this uh, uh, website that uh, Daniel created. Now uh, the other thing you can do, you know, if you click on, on a different name here, uh, for instance Magda Panaitescu, you'll see that it gives you, uh, in, in this case, Magda Panaitescu, another Romanian citizen, she's involved with one, two, three, four, five companies. Now, if you click on the first one, uh, again, you'll find who are the associates of uh, Magda Panaitescu in this company, uh, Jose Benasayas Atias and Peter Stanciola. So, uh, again, from here, you can go to Google and find out uh, probably some other data about these persons. Uh, so, this was just an e example of how you can use this great tool that was created by Daniel and um, how you can go fishing. So, uh, I wish you happy fishing. Thank you very much for uh, following me on this.